Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here I'm about to give a recap of the five range euro USD Forex market but before I get underway a couple of things I'd like to uh, cover on my YouTube videos I tend to have a lot of new traders or potential traders and also failed traders and traders that are perhaps really struggling review some of my videos and in both the webinars and live seminars that I run I tend to meet a lot of traders that have given it a go and have failed and it really disturbs me you know I want to really quickly talk about a couple of key things first of all I want you all to stop searching for the Holy Grail I've been trading now for over 20 years the trade setups that I teach um, are, are basically the research that I've done over many many years and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in research and development and programming and do you know what I discovered in the end there is nothing really new that is most of the setups that I use have been around for years and the best of the best use them beware of any person that comes out and tells you hey I've invented something new because there's very little that's new out there it hasn't already been brought up in the past so in other words stop searching for the Holy Grail and focus now when I look and go to these charts in a moment we just start to discuss these Forex charts some of you are going to look at them and think wow I could never do this well traders every professional was once an amateur and every master started out as an apprentice it all looks too hard well can you drive a car can you remember the first time that you hopped in a motor vehicle if it was a manual you had to push the clutch in to change the gears and you had to apply the brakes and use the indicators it's confusing however within a few short lessons and a month or two of driving you had it down down pat and now you can probably drive right across the city and not a, not even remember half of a journey everything was automated can you ride a bike of course in other words anyone can learn to trade as long as you have the passion for it probably the most important message I have for all new traders is that first of all you really need to develop the belief that you can do it and you can if you give yourself a sensible time to learn how to trade that is allow yourself at least three months to become a master at one setup now when we go to the chart in a moment we're going to be looking at a number of different setups when you start to trade you become a master at one you become a specialist in one setup I may talk about a number of setups if I end up coaching you the big thing I'll be doing when I'm coaching you is we focus on one thing until you just develop what I call reflex action in a blink of an eye you can look at a chart and recognize it we all develop that over a period of time as Henry Ford once said whether you believe you can or believe you can't you're right now with our trade checklist and whether you have your own trading system forget in mind for a moment as long as you've got a good rules-based checklist you can learn to trade now in my case with my trading uh, setups 95% of the strategies are mechanically based and over 90% is rule are rules based so in other words it's like a pilot having a checklist you tick it off does it meet this criteria does it meet that so anyone if you can read you can learn the checklist now I love this statement here if we did all the things we're capable of doing we would literally astound ourselves Thomas A Edison and it's so true ladies and gentlemen when it comes to trading trading is the greatest business in the world you can get started with as little as a thousand dollars if you're going to trade say mini contracts on Forex you don't need to spend um, many thousands on education you can spend a few hundred on education and be underway so the big thing is having the confidence and the belief but also developing the competence because there's a big difference between um, having confidence and competence a very very big difference and how we develop competence is by using the uh, simulator by gaining what I call screen time now in a moment as we go to this chart and we explore a number of trade setups what is your profit target in your trading plan 
well my personal target as my traders know is $200 a day per contract now even at $100 a day you can become extremely wealthy as a trader having a risk factor of no more than one to one to two percent of your trading capital per contract you trade you can develop and earn a fantastic income there is no limit literally to what you can earn as a day trader if you start out day trading correctly now if we consider medical specialists and let's look at a, say a standard GP a standard doctor where they see all sorts of people for all sorts of reasons and then go and compare a, say a, a, an ear throat and nose specialist or um, uh, an orthopedic surgeon they generally earn three times more than the jack of all trades than the MD and please if there's any MDs uh, watching this I, I say this in the greatest respect but generally the specialists are the ones that earn the big dollars and likewise as mentioned earlier I want you to specialize and master one trend following setup before you move on to another once again I want you to develop what I call reflex action now the big thing is most of my traders and those of you that have watched me trade live and or and or seen my recordings or have attended a seminar where I've been trading live I'm what I classify a sniper I'm a sniper trader one shot one kill now when I trade I take on the mentality of a sniper a sniper is there will lay in wait for his or her prey I'll just wait there now thanks to the uh, movie it's just come out American sniper I think um, a lot of people have seen that movie fantastic movie but they do quote one line there which I thought was great know when to take your shot and in our business it's know when to take your trade become a sniper and I can guarantee it will change the way you look at trading you see with most scalpers or what we call day traders a scalpers in and out throughout the day I could easily have 20 30 40 trades a day now I have a set profit target which works for me from a psychological point of view I like to hit my target maybe a little over and finish for the day and go and do other things and because I'm a trading coach I'm working with a lot of different traders both new and experienced so I've got my regular clients I'm very busy but I do have a target each day of $200 per contract um, uh, with the amount of contracts I trade and once again those of you who watch me trade know what I'm talking about here but what I do is I sit back and I wait for certain setups you see in our business our game is a business of probabilities successfully trading is a game of probabilities the market has a memory and what I mean by that is patterns repeat themselves every day and another way of me explaining it is that really our job as day traders is to solve patterns that is to it's a pattern solving exercise our setups we're looking for pullbacks uh, we're looking for rallies you know we're looking for extremes for a snapback but they're all patterns and that's the exciting thing that uh, that I want to get across to you and learning how to trade is that if you can see and recognize the patterns and if you follow the trading rules such as your money management the risk management uh, uh, and all the other things that go with that which we cover comprehensively in our training with you you can succeed as a day trader providing you start off by mastering one trade setup before you move on to another patterns repeat themselves every day so becoming a world-class trader is less about being gifted that is I sometimes have newer traders and even failed failed traders say to me look it hasn't worked for me you know that person's gifted or it's all right for you Ray you've got you know 20 years experience no wonder you can do it but it's less about being gifted but more about following the process applying discipline and patience and being competent at what you do so let me say it in it's more about following the process applying discipline and patience waiting as all good snipers do waiting for that trade setup you see it's not really you against other traders and let me just say something about this you see trading generally is a zero-sum game for you to gain someone's got to lose 
so it's not really so in other words really in a way you are trading against other traders but it's really about you from a psychological point of view and the market it's really about you sitting back and being patient now there's a whole lot we could talk about when it comes to this if you're wondering whether day trading is for you or you've seen my videos or have been referred to me please drop me a, an email at Ray F trader at gmail I'm quite here quite happy to have a free 15 minute consultation with you on Skype but please allow a couple of days for me to get back to you because I'm very very busy at times and but I'd love to have a chat to you uh, about the type of trading that I do and how we can fast track you yes we can fast track you so anyway no more about that let's now go across and have a look at some trades so traders what we're now going to have a look at is the FX market so this is the euro dollar five range and I've marked up a number of the trade setups that we have here which I wish to go through with you now once again in getting back to the newer traders or those where perhaps trading hasn't been working for you I have quite a few indicators on the chart how we start off by training you is by stripping back for an example this indicator here the MACD platinum we don't really need on our charts particularly when you're first um, starting to trade because we're mainly using that for counter trend trading which is something that you definitely don't want to be doing when you first start so we please remember we're working to a trade checklist and we train you in these setups step by step so let's start off with a t10 now the t10 setup has been around for a long time some people call it a money on the floor it's a very high probability trade it's an 80% plus accuracy trade now each one of these candles is worth $50 if you're trading it's a five range if you're trading the euro dollar so we're going to get in when we can see here this line here we call the zero lag when that turns cyan we're going to short the market sorry magenta I should say <laughs> when it turns magenta we're going to short so we're going to go short here on this candle and we're going to be out here we're after actually 12 pips in this particular case now that's as a minimum we may go as high as 15 to 20 but I don't want to get too much into that uh, otherwise we'll end up with a two-hour video here but this t10 was a winner thank you very much we then have an, an absolute classic this is what we call an 89 200 B which is a bounce we can see here we got the 89 and the 200 we're in an uptrend we've come down and bounced this is a highly accurate trade and look at that away it goes for my experienced traders looking at the chart here we can see here we got a t89 that is we're extended well out of our channel here we have an angle and let me just show you this here we've got great angulation here notice that wedge that we've got here that is what qualifies it as a t89 with the entry outside the channel that is a highly accurate trade when you get that extension the further out of a channel you are the more likely you're going to get your snapback which is what happened here now we've had got right here a fail trade we've got a t10 met all the conditions you can see here our stochastic is sloping down we've come up and pulled up we've got the paint bar but we got stopped out it pulled up rolled up and then we got a secondary sing signal for a t10 which was a winner here we've got and by the way this is the market just a few days ago so if you look at the the date here I think this is the what have we got here this is the let me just give you the date here this is a 16th of, of the of the third third of the 16th 15 so just a couple of days ago so uh, we can go down we've got another perfect uh, t89 uh, and, and just on this point this is the great thing about trading Forex is you can start of course trading Forex with a mini account or even micro but most trade start off by trading a mini so a thousand dollars and you're away it's a great way to cut your teeth because remember I spoke about earning the right or competence how you gain competence is by executing 
trades uh, one of my clients is in in London and I was talking to him a couple of days ago and he's been uh, and I know he's going to be listening to this recording and I really got stuck into him because he's he's been making some fatal errors on moving stops and breaking his trading rules if you're a pilot do you waver from your trading plan or from your flight plan without permission of course not you've got your flight plan you must follow likewise with trading I said to him you must for the next 100 trades follow them without breaking them just once not once otherwise you've got to go back again because what happens is we develop what we call reflex action we develop bad habits and the reflex thing is we start for an example when we know we should be counter trend trading we take the counter trends or we break our rules by moving stops etc so it's critical in learning to trade that you follow the rules exactly likewise oh, I'm just amazed at the amount of people and even other educators and coaches that say well look it's just a simulator the clients on the simulator it doesn't matter if they have a few losses it does matter traders it does because what's happening is you are hard wiring habits when into yourself so you've got to treat the simulator that you are exactly the same as if you feel trading real cash and our rule or my rule is you've got to be able to execute 100 trades minimum exactly to the trading plan without without any variation that's unqualified or you have to go back to the drawing board you see you've got to remember that learning to trade is a lifetime career you can earn an enormous amount of money over your trading career and you can get it get in it for less than well a thousand dollars so why not do it right from the, from day one and and it's just amazing how many people want to be cheap with their education and learning how to trade it just just amazes me it's the greatest business in the world anyway back to this what I've got here is another t10 I'm not going to go through all the rules with you right now what I want to do is just show you here some typical trading of the Forex market now uh, talking to another trader just today in LA um, I'm down under in Australia at the moment that I've got a lot of clients in US and uh, in Canada and we were just talking about this week of course is triple witching week you've got the options expiry etc uh, and we were talking about the differences in volatility where I used to trade mainly a seven and an eight range um, uh, uh, FX market uh, as far as the candles go but now they're fine because volatility over overall has been lower that is why by the way we trade range five range now range bars of course are very different to, um, uh, to time based charts and by the way on the MT4 for the MT4 users you don't have range you can buy um, coding for range if you google it uh, we've also coded uh, range candles for MT4 as well so range makes your your charts a lot smoother back to this one I'm <laughs> I'm uh, digressing a little got a lovely t10 notice here our long-term stochastics up we've got a curl up the paint bar we're in away we go and another t2 this is a cross between a t1 and a t2 uh, now remembering this here traders if you're trading a standard lot that's about a hundred and fifty dollar move there now if your target is one to two hundred dollars a day the reason by the way we go for a minimum of 12 ticks is this that our average say spread or commission uh, spread that we're going to pay is around two ticks yes I know we can get it down as low as one and sometimes even lower but let's be generous so I'm after and because of my stop is generally including the spread is 12 ticks my minimum gain I want to be targeting is 12 if not more and using a zero leg you can see it makes an excellent tool for trailing on the Forex market it works much better using a zero leg on the Forex market than what it does on the futures market in the futures market you get a lot of false breakouts etc so it's fantastic on the Forex market here I've got another t89 a counter trend trade new traders remember you're not going to be doing or trading a t89 to begin with let's move along here now what we've got just down here we've got another beautiful 89 EMA bounce now that one because your entry was not till up here and take into account your spread you you would have not exited till up here somewhere now you actually had two 89 B's in a row here you had one 
and your secondary one your entry would not have been to here now why here and why not there remembering we're always waiting here for our zero lag to turn up and to turn cyan for long magenta for shorts cyan for long down here we've got another beautiful 200b bounce the 200 is the 200 EMA new traders you will learn this be patient allow yourself three months to master this remember every master was once an amateur we all start somewhere had another beautiful t89 what made it a t89 my entry was outside the channel when you get these extended moves you get what we call angulation over here we've got here uh, another 89 bounce you can see we bounce but it was a no trade why is that notice here that our zero lag is still heading down traders is only three or four things that you're really looking for to execute a trade that's all now if you said to me what strategy am I going to begin with uh, Ray in learning how to trade it's taking these paint bars with the in the direction of the 89 and 200 if these and if the trades not in a direction of these two lines forget it you're not going to take the trade it's as simple as that so your two t1s and t2s generally are what you're going to be learning to trade with let's move along a little here now remember I've just taken a random day the last few days uh, another t2 perfect now here you were not out till up here if you're after a minimum of 12 ticks uh, if you were scalping the market you might have got out early or as experienced traders do they add to their positions with their secondary signal so you would had we're still in this one you added to this one likewise you added to that you just picked up three winners in a row there and thank you very much you just had one here and you had a t89 which I hadn't marked there that one by the way would have been a loss but then you just picked up a lovely one winner here here we've got a uh, t10 right here not a big winner and just remember traders and this is um, sorry for the newer traders if I'm losing you a little bit here but when you're a, just above the 89 of a 200 remember they're magnets they will attract price action but also they act as severe support resistance which means you you're going to bounce off them but which is exactly what happens so if you had entered in here and many of you have seen me trade live and, and see my recordings you know that I always have my exit on these down here I go to break even at least and this is what happens we bounced off and we had a beautiful 200 bounce right there then we had another beautiful to uh, t10 right there so traders trading and just look at this it just it's one trade after another these are all rules based they're 95% mechanical in in nature now what's the difference where why aren't they 100% well there are a couple of things I do want to know for an example am I around a news announcement is there a red flag for newer traders is a website that we go to every day just to check out news announcements what we call red flags uh, might be uh, the FOMC announcement in the States could be uh, a certain retail announcement or the, um, there's some major announcements for an example tonight it's uh, Thursday night uh, for, um, in Australia tonight in the US I think we're at the Philly Fed announcement tonight which is a big market mover so when we have those big moves in the market we actually make sure that well as day traders we're not in the market at the time we exit so every one of these trades uh, I've taken and we've had others in between but what I've done is just taken the ones with the paint bars see these so every signal if you look at that winner let's forget our counter trends okay I'm not even going to talk to you about those by the way with these t89s for the experienced traders we're after a two to one risk reward okay so for every ten dollars I risk I'm after a target of twenty dollars profit which as you've probably seen they every one well 85 percent deliver that but once again new traders I don't want you trading them but for the experienced ones and for the new ones let's go back to here all right these are all classic signals but see winner 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 so traders you do have rough days as well because one thing is that when you enter into a market where there's chop or where the market's going sideways of course the market's going to get a lot tougher uh, we can see here we've had another winner uh, this was a 289 bounce 289 bounce a t1 
uh, sorry if it was a t10 t1 had another one here now by the way there's one you would have been stopped on you would have had a loss on that particular one but if you look at this over here this t89 is that ignore that trade right there because that's shouldn't be in that one uh, but if you just look at all of these with trends and so just to recap what we're looking at doing as newer traders and even the experienced traders if you said to me Ray samurai trader I want a lower risk trading environment I want to have less sweat by the way you may have heard the old saying he who sweats more in training bleeds less in war what that means of course is if you're fitter when you go to battle you're going to survive it and the bleed a lot less and likewise when you're learning to trade that is why on the simulator I want you to take at least 100 trades on the simulator 100% to the rules of that particular setup before you even consider going live traders one of the, the greatest disadvantages in learning how to trade is that it's so easy to open up a trading account and become a trader but so many traders and we know that over 90 percent of traders lose that's right over 90 percent of traders will crash and burn eventually so I want you as your success coach to be in that top 10 percent and how you do that is through patience is through discipline and because it's so easy to open a trading account and start trading because someone's told you how easy it is after you blow your account once or twice and sometimes not even blow your account you do yourself a whole heap of psychological damage and you know you become gun shy and next thing you get a perfect setup and you hesitate and you know what happens the market runs and you get in late and you know so many things happened and that's one of the greatest challenges that I have with both the institutional traders and the private traders is the psychological damage I've had through making usually errors in judgment breaking their rules breaking their money management rules etc because trading by the way can be very boring at times it's not always excitement now uh, just before I close off the other thing here is you don't have to sit by your charts for all of these so if we look at this here that's at uh, six well, it's not too bad that's an hour and 20 minutes there now if that's too many trades for you and, and sometimes that can be four or five hours if that's too many trades you simply we increase the time frame for a ways there if you want to be more patient that is you don't want to take as many trades so with this also is we have an alarm system so what happens here is that and let me just quickly uh, show you this here let me just enable that um, so let me just see if you can hear this oops sorry sorry traders now let me just get this right here strategy alert right, so strategy you can probably alert hear that. strategy strategy alert. alert you can be anywhere strategy in the house. alert and this is whether you're trading with uh, trade station ninja trader most trading programs strategy alert allow you to have an alarm that is with these trade setups you can easily code them and have them uh, here on trade station already coded for you um and I and for the people with trading platforms uh, for an example like MT4 I just give you all the settings so it's easy to do and to set up uh, here you simply set the alarm and you can be anywhere in your home have the alarms on and they go off when the setup is there for you so it's easy it simplifies it so you can be downstairs upstairs in another room cooking dinner uh, and waiting for the trade setup so traders I trust uh, this session I went a little bit longer than uh, really uh, what I wanted to uh, to do but I but in closing traders you have to aim to be in the top 10% trading is not rocket science but I think uh, because this week I've had a rough week in dealing with some some really some really rough traders that is that have found it really tough and made so many classic mistakes and it tears my heart out because I want to see my traders succeed and they keep breaking the most basic rules and what I've noticed is that a lot of traders approach trading well if I'm just half okay I'll do okay well you won't you have to have the target of becoming one of the world's best and you can you can become an epic trader by focusing on one market maybe a maximum of two 
one or two setups one or two one or two time frames become a specialist traders that's it until next time strategy Thanks for alert. listening